Hey man, what's uh, up? Rapist, rapist, rapist. Yes. Gaming in a van. So what I've done is I've got uh, two plastic plates which uh, are eight of LCD monitors and uh, I've uh, uh, grabbed my tablet computer, flipped the screen to face me so the keyboard's facing away and I've got a proper more proper mechanical keyboard there, my usual keyboard and a mouse and a mouse pad and uh, this works excellent! I've got the audio hooked up to those speakers over there which uh, uh, on the right uh, configuration so that I the left and right correct this way and uh, I've been playing like this Battlefield 2 for like a few hours it works pretty well no issues and since I'm in this end of the van I can just have a cooler pull out van and have like food and drink ready to eat and uh, a the new burner with, with the, like my with my plastic tabs on it, makes for an excellent like general thing holder. It's very sturdy, so I can like rest my coffee cup and uh, perhaps even computer there. Docking station fits well, very well. On a side note, uh, there's probably going to be a mm, decrease in blog videos for a while now, since I'm here sorting out some family business for a while. But I'm probably going to be moving on in like a while, although I don't know for certain. I'm uh, currently doing a bit of comfort improvement. So, uh, this stereo, or amplifier, it was initially all the way in there, on the left side, or front end of this shelf, this is the bulkhead to the front of the van, and these are my storage units, of course, so it, it was sitting there. And I've noticed since I keep switching sleeping positions, uh, it's really just going to be way better to have it here. So I'm just moving it now. It's a bit of an issue because the speaker cable's uh, exactly long enough to reach to the other end. But I managed to just rip it and it came loose somewhere. And it it didn't go quite so. Gonna say, well, that's okay. Come, got my little ground separator there. And I had to buy a new 3.5mm to RCA cord because weirdly I brought two of them, one old and I bought one new just for this because I didn't really have any suitable and being of those went bad I have no idea, the new one had an issue where one of the rings on the uh, connector just to, didn't seem to connect properly and it just made scratching noises no matter what jack you put it into and the old one seems to have just the uh, sleeve part of the connector to be way too small so it never makes a proper ground connection but thankfully this ultra cheapy from the local supermarket did the trick and it's a bit longer, it's a two and a half meter variety so I can reach it all over the place even into the front of the vehicle if I need to uh, other things of note recently I've noticed this storage unit gets uh, incredibly heavy use and I've been entirely unable to keep any order in it so for this lower shelf because that's my spare laptop so it's just tiny and I can't put anything which rolls or slides there we have also got a drawn tablet there so it's just basically sitting empty whereas uh, this one for kind of tech stuff and this one for you know toiletries, paper, allergy medicine, tape, plastic bags, stuff like that it's uh, yeah, this one's been pretty okay as long as I don't try and shove a camera in there the camera we're watching this through has a very bad tendency to end up exactly there because this area is exactly the same size as the camera when it's folded up uh, but yeah this part is just yeah, yeah be happy you can't see it it's an entire mess random electrical gibberish bleh and this heater is a massive 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 space hog it's sitting exactly where I want to put my feet when I get up in the morning. And uh, this uh, trash can, it works very well as a trash can, as you can see. But uh, it would really need a mechanism for sliding around better. You can move it around as it is now, but you kind of need to move the bed up because it usually pinch down it. And when you're in the bed and it's in the way because you want to get something over there, that's just a big bother. So they're probably going to figure out a better main for this at some stage. Not really sure how to do it, though. It would have to like be a C-clamp which grabs onto the lower side and just goes kind of a bit on the top and kind of a bit on the behind side and kind of hooks out in front. But yeah, that's not a big issue. This one works well enough. 
And uh, yeah, it's generally quite uh, messy in here because I keep. I need really need to get some like clothing hooks or make them out of uh, wiring because basically all my like clothes, my jacket, stuff that I just don't wear all the time end up in a pile of that uh, along with any laundry. So that's going to need to be remedied. The gas burner really does do an excellent job at being an extra table when I have those two little uh, plastic uh, washing whatever things on it and these are pretty much the exact right size for the burner so it just works out great. I can put anything on there and it's quite sturdy as long as I'm driving around. And you have a fridge just sitting there being absolutely useless. Uh, like it, it's... The pelletier just doesn't really do a good enough job to be economical to use unless you've got grid access or you have it like full of ice. Like I've got three bottles which I've frozen over and over again and like when I freeze those it lasts several days, it stays relatively cool even though I don't run the pelletier. But yeah I'm probably not going to use that a lot and I'll probably end up eating a lot in restaurants too because I'm absolutely lazy. And I have noticed it's been quite cold these last couple of nights. This part of the door gets very cold as well as the exposed metal up there. So I should do something about that. Probably buy some more of this uh, insulate y, soundproof -y stuff. It's probably very cheap at build time compared to what I usually pay for it. It is kind of tempting to just basically slap that on everything and just have like a spatial feel for the entire place. I really like the idea of that, but that's going to be such a giant project because, you know, you need to cut these into little suitable strips. It doesn't bend very well, so you'd have to make a strip there, a strip there, a little corner piece there, different pieces all over, and you don't want to cover up any holes. And an issue is when you put this stuff on there, this is not going away ever. This is going to be there until this car gets scrapped, because if you try and pull that off, uh, you basically end up with ripping the foam. And the glue... The glue just doesn't come off. I've tried so many things to get rid of the glue, it just doesn't happen. You basically have to grind it off. It's absolutely awful stuff to deal with in that regard. So, if, if you install this, you better do it right the first time. Of course, if you just want to, you know, drill a hole or something, you can just go right through it, but... Yeah, cosmetically, it's not a good thing, but I like the cosmetics. Uh, oven use, 15.6 outside, 19.6 inside. No heater on ever, no nothing. And I have noticed this speaker is a major issue, because when I'm, I'm sleeping with my head in this direction, first thing I do in the morning is go bang, and then ow because this is very sharp and it's too low. I, you know, when I calculate the height of everything, uh, I expected, you know, I fit perfectly there, but I don't fit underneath that, obviously. But I guess it's something I just have to get used to. Uh, other than that, like, I haven't really had much of an issue with the size of this place. Like, it's, it's really comfortable. You know, just sitting around in here and do, doing nothing in particular playing computer games, editing video. Hmm. It's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Oh yeah, and I also need to get some kind of better blanking for this window. This is just my little towel for like wiping my hands. That's, that looks dodgy. Yeah, this one's supposed to be clean. Looks way worse on camera, eh? Oh, but yeah, probably want to make like some more of this stuff for, for this window and just uh, hang it on this somehow. Not really sure how much. I might put a line across there between those. Ugh. Between those bolts, that would work quite well. Quite well indeed. Then I could just shove it aside, tape it together. I think that might work. I haven't had any power issues though, uh, as long as, like I haven't run the fridge a lot, but uh, I have been, you know, using the lights, using the ventilation, that's on 24-7, drawing a couple hundred milliamps, 
uh, and I have been using my computers. The servers failed to do its energy stuff, so it's on 24-7 now, but we've got 12.4 in the battery with everything running right now, and uh, that's pretty okay. Uh, the battery was uh, entirely fully charged uh, earlier today, so I think my energy requirements, as long as I don't use that retarded fridge, is going to be quite uh, ample. We haven't had very good weather around here either. It's been very rainy and horrible and wet and dark. So uh, I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling quite confident. Uh, I might have to figure out a better way to deal with that back window though. You can see the uh, place where I cut those, to, uh, glued those together has started to come apart. Well, I'm going to tape that together in a moment. So I wouldn't want it to crack in half. You know, because when I'm sitting there, you know, I'm leaning, having pillows shoved all over that place and leaning against it, it gets uh, quite rippy and horrible. It's not a very nice thing to do. So it's that little thin film. And the wire of my IKEA lamp needs to be rated way better. That's that's just not done very well. I'm almost out of good hard drive magnets. I've used up most of the ones which are in sensible shapes. All the other ones I've got won't really grip onto the metal very well because they're just so weirdly shaped. I've been very pleasantly surprised though by how well it works to just uh, open this door up, get on the bed, lean out and uh, just to uh, grab these boxes. Even if it's raining quite a bit, it works Ouch, it's not, it's not that bad, it doesn't, you don't get too much water inside. Most of the water is going up on the solar panel anyway, so there's no, like, huge drippage from the top. And, there, as long as my sleeping bag isn't stuck there, I can just slam it shut. Works like a charm. There we go. So much better. Don't question it, I'm a professional. Let's creep people out on Omegle. Hey man, what's up? 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 That's a nice ferry you've drawn there. I'm not saying that to be rude. It does look like a ferry, and it looks relatively nice. That does look like a ferry to me. A fox. Well man, how is a fox not a ferry? Come on. Because the internet is for 21st century. Foxy the pirate. What kinds of piratey things does Foxy get up to? No, I'm serious, man. Uh, fi five Nights at Freddy's, right? Like, uh, as, as a part of... Uh, as a percentage of your daily life, how much is Five Nights at Freddy's? What do you think? Stranger may be using a simulated webcam. I am Napoleon Bonaparte. That's great! I will give you free candy if you come in my van. Ah, first IT issue of a trip, wireless card stops working for no reason in the middle of doing things. Let's hope it works to just reseat it. Ah, that explains it. The USB hub powering my modem had uh, apparently failed. <laughs> and it wasn't supplying power to a modem anymore, so it was running off of battery power and it uh, was just... Uh, power cycling since uh, the battery protection was kicking in. Well, now it should work a bit better when it's actually powered. I must say though, pretty impressive battery runtime out of this. I get like 20 plus hours on battery with the internet connected. Very happy with this uh, TP-Link uh, something something MR13 device. Well, that's better. Back to the dark parts of Fur Affinity. Uh, 
Oh, God damn it, that was intended to be a joke.